Do you recall a movie or TV show featuring an incredibly talented performer who could sing, dance, and act all at once? This person stole the spotlight with their lively acts and won the hearts of many. Share your memories and experiences with us below. We'd love to hear them. Stay tuned for some surprising, amusing, and touching facts about this individual's life and career. Originating from Chicago, Illinois, Donald O'Connor embarked on an entertainment career from a young age influenced by a family deeply rooted in the showbiz scene. His parents, recognizing his early talents, supported his journey into the performing arts. Encountering the usual challenges aspiring entertainers face, he persisted and overcame obstacles, shaping his skills both on stage and in front of the camera. A pivotal moment occurred at the age of 12 when a talent scout discovered him, paving the way for roles in films and on stage. O'Connor's charisma and exceptional dancing skills quickly set him apart in the industry. During his formative years, he honed his craft by learning from seasoned professionals, absorbing the nuances of performing arts. Dedication and innate talent laid the groundwork for a successful Hollywood career. Navigating the industry's highs and lows, he remained steadfast in his pursuit of excellence, seizing every opportunity to showcase his versatility as an actor, singer, and dancer, earning acclaim for dynamic performances. In conclusion, Donald O'Connor's early life shaped by a family deeply involved in entertainment, molded him into a versatile performer. Through dedication and talent, he carved a niche in Hollywood, leaving a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. In a beloved classic from the golden age of Hollywood musicals, a talented performer faced a daunting challenge. During a famous dance number, he was asked to execute a difficult move involving running up a wall and somersaulting, which left him hospitalized due to exhaustion and painful burns. Despite setbacks, he bravely agreed to redo the scene after a brief rest. When asked about his favorite performance, he highlighted a beautiful dance sequence with a fellow actress in a different movie. He praised her dancing skills, ranking her among the best he ever worked with. In another memorable moment, a planned ballet sequence featuring him had to be altered due to prior commitments. A talented dancer stepped in, showcasing her adaptability by adjusting her style to match the lead actor's background. In the realm of classic Hollywood musicals, his memorable performances and personal favorites remain celebrated, showcasing his dedication and adaptability in the history of cinema. In Singing in the Rain, he portrayed Cosmo Brown alongside Gene Kelly, offering viewers a behind-the-scenes look at movie-making magic. O'Connor, along with Debbie Reynolds, revealed challenges while working with Kelly, citing his harsh demeanor. Despite initial fears, O'Connor delivered a memorable performance in the iconic film. Jack Haley Jr.'s film project faced hurdles, leading to creative adjustments in footage selection. Footage availability dictated the final product, resulting in unexpected placements of certain scenes and performers. Despite challenges, the film captured the essence of Hollywood's golden age. In a beloved movie from the past, there's a scene where a character dances with a white cloth mannequin, adding a quirky touch when the mannequin's arm accidentally gets pulled off screen. Another memorable moment happened during the filming of a scene called Moses Supposes, where two actors share a light-hearted exchange about dance moves, bringing a smile to one of them. Interestingly, an earlier version of the script had different musical numbers planned, but the final movie retained some scenes with the main actors singing and dancing. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes enrich our appreciation for the movie's magic and the talented individuals involved. He used to smoke a lot, like four packs a day, which was quite surprising considering how lively and energetic he was on screen. In the famous movie Singing in the Rain, he played the character Cosmo Brown, showing off not just his amazing dance moves, but also his great sense of humor. After an auction in 2011, most of the cool costumes from the film ended up with the legendary Debbie Reynolds. These costumes, including his memorable green check fit as a fiddle suit and shoes, are now displayed at the Costume World Broadway Collection Museum. This museum is a treasure for people who love classic Hollywood stuff, especially the clothes actors wore in movies. The one standout piece is the outfit he wore during the Make Em Laugh part. It's a reminder of how he left his mark on the entertainment world. What's interesting is that he didn't just get the Make Em Laugh scene handed to him. He worked on it with the famous Gene Kelly. They had brainstorming sessions, bouncing ideas off each other to create a really impressive number. Pulling from his Vaudeville experience, he brought in some old gags that had made people laugh before. The result was an amazing performance that showed how versatile he was and added to the lasting appeal of the film. Looking back, it's cool to see how they created such memorable moments for the movies. The green check suit and the funny scene are reminders of how he contributed to the entertainment world, 
leaving a lasting impression on film history. Learning about the collaboration between Donald O'Connor and Gene Kelly gives us a peek into the behind-the-scenes magic that happened on set, capturing the essence of a time gone by. In short, from his smoking habit to his fantastic performances, Donald O'Connor's Hollywood journey is a fascinating story. Each part of it adds to the charm of what he left behind. The green check suit, the funny scene, and the teamwork with Gene Kelly all show how much he gave to entertainment, making him a beloved figure whose influence is still felt today. Did you know that there's a classic movie where someone does a funny dance on a rug? Well, that kind of dancing goes way back to old movies like The Three Stooges. There's this actor who did that dance in a movie called Singin' in the Rain. He was in a big war, but when he came back, he got right back into acting and did a movie called Something in the Wind. He wasn't just in movies, he was also on TV and won an award for it in 1953. So yeah, he's pretty good at lots of stuff. This actor was really good at dancing and had a friendly vibe that people loved. He moved between movies and TV smoothly and made lots of people happy with his performances. He was a big deal in his time and left behind a bunch of stuff that people still like today. Once upon a time, in the glamorous era of Hollywood's past, there was a movie where a very good actress had to dance with a famous actor. She wasn't experienced in dancing, but she was determined to keep up with her co-stars. The energy on set was exciting as she tried to follow the complicated dance moves with the help of her partner. At the same time, in another film, a well-known actor was going through personal problems while filming. These issues were real-life struggles, which made him more vulnerable on screen. As the story unfolded, unexpected romantic relationships blossomed among the actors, mirroring the drama of the characters they played. Throughout their careers, these actors worked together in a way that fascinated audiences. Their ability to bring their characters to life left a strong impression on the world of movies. What made their work special wasn't just their talent for dancing or acting, it was the genuine connection they shared, both on and off the set. In the end, the lasting impact of their collaborations shows how powerful storytelling was during Hollywood's golden age. Their on-screen chemistry and friendship continue to inspire people who love movies, reminding us of the timeless appeal of film.